ruined a lot of characters. Um, and like, oh, we're on. Like, yeah, we're about to get the show on the road. We're gonna have Fang versus King. I'm assuming. Yeah. Well, let's see what they pick. All right, All right pick Fang your versus King. They're picking the mains. Fang versus King should be an interesting matchup. Um, I know that Fang is a pretty like. They're like like King's like hidden like top tier. He's like a hidden top tier character, and then right. Fang's like a like kind of like the middle of the bunch character. Right. Has some he's pretty got good some, like. He's got some like gimmicks, but um, he's got a lot of yeah. like moves that don't work. Up four two is like a great get out of jail free card. Right. So like, if uh, it was Sleepbringer that's using Fang. Yeah, if it's Sleepbringer, then he'll probably use like some up four twos. I'm expecting to see some up four twos here. Oh, he's on a 13-game win streak. Oh, there's a headbutt. Oh, okay. Drops on a combo. Nice. nice little whip punish. Could have got a launch, though. All right, oh, we're seeing a lot of... Oh, no. oh, nice punish. Uh-oh. Oh. That's one snake edge. <laughs> I think you might be slightly ahead of me. Oh, uh, shit. Possibly. All right, breaks the Shining Wizard. Oh, all right. Gets a counter hit command. No, I'm throw. behind you. Okay. All right, and round one goes to the B83 with the counter hit throw. I really hate Fang's headbutt. Oh, there's the snake edge, but no combo. I I really wish Fang's headbutt was minus 15, right? Instead of being 14, because like in this matchup, but like if I'm playing against Fang, I'm picking Miguel before I pick Lars, just because Miguel has a 14 frame launcher. From Crouch. Oh, he just let that rip. He's a madman. Ah. Oh, look. I finally saw him let it rip that uh, string. Yeah. He could have just killed him with the instant throw for the combo under. But, like, he, he still got it. Uh-oh. <clears throat> I don't think Sleepbringer's going to break this. So we're probably going to see the whole thing. Yeah. Ca caught him mashing with the chain grab, too. Yeah, he ain't breaking this. Into, all right. Oh my God! Alley kicks. Just do it. All right. And the B and the beef goes up one zero. That was a very uh quick three three rounds right there by the beef. So what do you think? Um... Wait, he said you. Come on, guys. You got. It may be eight more matches to go. All right, from what I saw, I think uh, it looks like Sleepbringer was doing a lot of movement and with punishment, but um, he was just caught unprepared with some strings from the beef. Yeah, yeah he's definitely letting uh, the beef get away with that unblockable takedown a lot. He could definitely step it in the situations that he's been using it. It's not like guaranteed situations. Right. Um. So. I'm, I'm not tell, exactly. I'm gonna tell Sleepbringer what Commander told me. Just breathe, relax, and try, hold, yeah, just, hold a block button. Yeah, hold that block button. But um, if he just steps a little bit, I think it'll help out. Right. I mean, he was stepping like round one. He was stepping a little bit, right. and he, he was able to get like some whip on his shoulders. But then he stopped moving, and then the beef just started going to town. I, I, I'm not sure how good he, the beef is at. Um, uh, Sleepbringer is good at breaking throws, so if he can't break throws, uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a doozy. Right, because then you're stuck ducking stuff, and then you get once you start trying to duck throws, then you start getting blown up by his uh, by King's mids. Yeah. Oh fuck, my bad. Hey guys, I. Oh. Uh. What's up? I accidentally uh, got into the match. Oh, you ready, Dub? Yeah, my bad. Oh, oops. All right, so <laughs> we're. It doesn't matter. Just. This will be. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm still new about this. Sorry, right. it could be worse. Let me let me type in the Discord.
Let me unleash some Wi-Fi bullshit. <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> when we were uh, waiting up, um, waiting for Fat Boy's technical issues, I was thinking about just getting in, into the queue with Nina and do some strings on Wi-Fi. Yeah. Doing the strings. All right, he's gonna practice his throws. Yeah, I was gonna say it probably makes the most sense just to do a uh, RDC, just to end the rounds quick. Right. Since it does like eighty percent of your health. Uh, actually, no, it does like seventy percent. Look at this guy. He's using me as practice mode. Well, at least he got the tenets. I can't even. Ba I can barely even do my own tenets on Lars. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. I'm used to being a competitor, not a uh, commentator. And we should be going right back into it. Alright, I should give Sleep Ringer a little bit more time to uh, get some water, take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take, it gave him like a quick little breather. Now, I don't really think Sleepbringer needs to make too many adjustments after that first game. That first game was kind of like the warm-up game. Right. But like, uh... I think, well, I think what he was doing the first round of that match was uh, mostly fine, right? He was, he was getting a lot of whiffs and punishing them. Yeah. It seems like once he started getting hit by, like, anything, it sort of fell apart. Yeah. I get it. I mean, as a, as a sort of pseudo dude myself, there's like so much shit in this game. Like, you, you, you get hit by one thing you don't know, your entire game plan just uh, goes out the window. Yeah, it's, that's kind of like why I don't think um, Lay is as, is as bad as people say he is. I mean, like, of course, the Lay players are the ones that made the character, but you the character is so complex that you really have to do like a lot of homework if you really want to beat that matchup, so... Right. Like in a first in a first to two setting, I feel like Lay is like a great character to use. But again, I don't play the character, so I I'm just speaking by like what I've dealt with playing against the character. But um, I mean he has plenty of mix-ups, so I don't know. I don't really have the best takes, but I stand by my opinions because someone has to. <laughs> someone has to stand by the opinions. I'm surprised you're not making as many memes as the rest of the Lars players are. Nah. The meme the meme is, gets kinda the meme kinda gets old. I, I just yeah. I don't even I don't even say anything outrageous. Like asking for down back forward to be minus fourteen isn't outrageous, in my opinion. Alright, with shoulder. Oh, alright. Uh okay. He goes right underneath that. Alright, these guys filling each other out in the space. No whiff punish. Uh, counter hit. Uh, nice job with the Kempo to dodge, but no duck on that string. Okay, uh, headbutt. Weird. Oh, weird he's mad. I think we're, uh. I think I'm behind this time. Uh. uh didn't finish the string. I thought that. Uh, if that was guaranteed, I was about to say, wow. Oh, he's doing strings. No yeah, punish. Ahead. Yeah, you're definitely ahead. All right, guys, I've counted four snake edges so far. <laughs> <laughs> In snake edge, we trust. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, yeah, he drops a combo. It drops the combo oh. after the wall bounce. Jeez. Mm. Oh, come on, Sleep Ringer. Okay. It looks like... In All my right, timeline, let's... he caught him with a chain grab <laughs> while Sleep Ringer was mashing. Ah, uh, I, I see it now. I see it. I see the chain grab. It's the same chain grab from the from the first game. Oh wait, no, he did the other variation. Never mind. Good awareness. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. But that was good. That was good awareness by the Beeb to go for the giant swing ender since the wall's right there. Yeah, I saw him go for a few few other setups. Like he went for a um. Um, what was that? The one um, high crushing launcher at the wall. High crushing launcher at the wall, I'm trying to remember. Uh, high crushing launcher at the wall. Well, anyways, I'm seeing the same things that happened in the first match in that uh, the Beaver just caught um, Sleep Ringer mashing buttons. X Nova is now hosting with one viewer. Thank you, thank you, X Nova. What is good, my brother? It has been quite some time since I've seen you, man. I hope everything is doing all right. I hope you're still hop kicking people, still hitting people with four, one plus two, one plus two. Hit him with the running twos. Hit him with the running twos, but I hope That's a double check. Doing... Game one, they they picked the same characters, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is King and uh, Fang, both games. Um, but what is good, everybody in the chat? I see you, Blitz. What's up, Dame? Booster Blast, Reckless. Everybody in the chat. I hope everyone's doing a good time. Now, excuse Dude, me man. For making... Sorry, excuse me for making some making some assumptions here, but it seems like Sleepbringer knows what's minus. He's just having a hard time um, punishing the mine or doing something about the minus moves. Yeah, like punishing properly. Yeah. Yeah. That and um Sleeper I mean like Sleeper did get one combo off, but like if they don't know if Sleeper doesn't know how to break the throws, I guess maybe try ducking more. And like just just treat the throws like a low. Just duck it right. and then just punish. That's what I do sometimes. Like if I like when I'm fighting King and Armor King a lot. A lot of times I just duck because I know a lot of kings like they'll go for like right. the cheeky I'm gonna not finish a string go for a giant swing or like I'll put I'll punish you with a ja I'll jab punish you and then I'll go right into a throw so like right. I'm always, I'm like ducking a lot like in when I don't know how to break throws that right. well against king yeah it's or just like me. yeah I but hit by it's just three times before I finally start ducking it yeah it's just like so. Annoying that Giant Swing and Shining Wizard had the same same uh, throw animation because like a lot of times I don't bring Giant Swing because I see one plus two and I hit one plus two, so yeah. Well, that even uh, what were we gonna say about the about the throw, break, throw breaking? Uh, it seems like a lot of throws from um, Beaver were um, from were him catching um, Sleepbringer mashing buttons. Yeah. So like you can't even like, I mean how do you even break a throw when you're already mashing something that doesn't break it? I used to intensively like practice breaking King's throws. Uh but I just forget I forget everything now because I barely see King online, so like I forget um what I even like taught myself. So I I need to go back and allow to do that. No, in my purple and red ranks, I get plenty of uh kings and armor kings. Fat boy, I did not know you had your own ice cream sandwich up in Maine. You're gonna have to like hook me up with that, bro. Whoa. That's like, that's what Nova said. He said up in Maine, Fat Boy has his own ice cream sandwich. It's a man, it's a secret. You aren't supposed to know. <laughs> <laughs> well the secret the secret's out now. Well now you have oh, to die by ice cream sandwich, I'm sorry. Dude, my man just did the whole string again. Wow. Okay. Uh, you're ahead of me now. Oh, I'm ahead this time. Okay. All right, so the Beeb is going ham once again at the wall. All right, good block by Fang, but uh, decent whip punish. A punish is a punish. No whip. Uh, I mean, he's getting his whip punishment, but he could be killing the Beeb for whiffing a lot. 
Uh, okay. And Sleepbringer whiffed pretty hard right there. Be the Beep is in cruise control right now. Definitely. Oh, all right, he broke the throw that time, but no shoulder. He, he got him with cat. Oh, okay. That works. I was gonna say like Sleepbringer's got the combos, but nice shoulder. Okay, was is he gonna finally get around? Nice, nice back one. Oh, nice punish on that spring kick. Yeah, what's up, Palm? Okay, nice Kempo stance. Four to one. Oh, he, blo he blocked the string. He's adapting. He's adapting. All right, Sleepbringer's got him at the wall. What's he gonna do? Yeah, throw out more lows, man. This guy's not ducking. <clears throat> I think that's one adjustment. If I was Sleepbringer, I would just do that. I would just, yeah, he's listening. More lows, more lows. Ooh, that was a little too slow. <clears throat> but, like, he's not oh. out-kicking at all. Oh, yeah, got... no. Yeah, I get real gormless with your plus frames. Yeah. Oh, that's a one break. And... At the same time, Sleepbringer's not checking his ankles either. So, whoever starts doing more lows, oh no, hop come kick! On. No hop kick again! Oh, there it is, but too late. Okay, no punish. It is non-punish city right now. He blocked the first two hits, but not the third. <laughs> Feels bad. Okay. Oh man, that's seeable. Okay, side. Uh, okay, race drive. No! Oh no, he mashed. Oh wait, he's dead. Oh no, not like this. Oh, he blocked the low! That's punishable, man! No! Oh my god. You really hate to see that. <laughs> you really hate to see that. <laughs> Bro, this shoulder that uh shoulder that King's uh launcher. Is, is that minus, right? You shoulder it, right? Uh which movie are you referring to? The the low that he did? No, where King like uh, does like he like goes to goes to the ground, like throws his, both his hands up as a launcher. Oh, oh, you're talking about the I think it's like Atlas Hammer, I think. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah that's like my that's like less launch punish. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's launch punish. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know it's launch punish, but you know, as a noob, you can at least shoulder. Yeah, you get, you get at least shoulder. You can at least try shoulder. Um, yeah. I think Fang has like a sixteen frame. I think Fang's four, three, four, 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 three. I think that's the string. Um, I think it's a sixteen frame startup. So he he, he definitely could have got that also. Let me consult the bots. Yeah, everyone's saying it's like minus death on block. Alright, to Sleepbringer, I need you to get on the board, my guy. You've been close a few times. Oh, uh, thanks for. It's 21 frame startup. Okay, never mind, I lied. Alright. Thanks, Hopkick's pretty bad range wise, so I doubt it would have reached uh -huh. at the wall like that. That's what I'm saying, man. Things got a lot of. Flaws. Yeah, this hop kick's bad, but like I hate Fang as a character. His low, his lows are so oppressive. I mean, I get that like down back three is like launch punish on block, but like that move that low's unseeable. So it's not like you're going to be seeing that. It's not like you're doing Lars down one plus two, for example, or Asuka's right. one down one plus two. Like Fang's down back three is pretty fast. But the shoulder, I mean the headbutt, the low headbutt's oppressive. I hate that. It is so oppressive. Like it's only minus fourteen. Only a handful of po handful of people can punish it. But like, since it's minus fourteen, even if you block it, that doesn't stop the Fang player from sticking with the low. Like it doesn't stop right. the game plan. I mean, he's definitely got some mix-ups, but it doesn't feel as oppressive as like playing against Mishima's or Marduk. Yeah, and that's a very good point. Redesign, <clears throat> redesigns. Uh, Asuka's down one plus two is twenty frame startup, so yeah, it's barely reactable. 
and she can also do it from crouch. You know what? This is some BS. Asuka can do her <laughs> down one. She can do her down one plus two from crouch, and it leaves her standing. So she can get forward two as a follow-up sometimes, or she can get a raise drive. But in Lars's case, it's basically the same move for both characters, but Lars, his down one plus two leaves him in crouch, and he gets nothing guaranteed unless the opponent texts incorrectly at the wall, and I can hit him with a shoulder, a crouch cancel shoulder. They need to nerf Asuka down one plus two. She don't need it. She did not need <laughs> that. All right, so I'm not sure if you're ahead of me this time, Thousand, but uh, we'll find uh, out. I'm at 55 seconds right now. I'm at 60. Okay, so I, I'm slightly ahead again. All right, and Beeb going back to work. Another snake edge. Uh, oh my god! Guys, we got my internal snake edge counter is at six. And no throw break for Sleepbringer. And the beef just doesn't decide to finish his combo. Look, Lars has three more lows than Asuka, but that just means I have three more opportunities to die from my lows. At least Asuka's lows, like her worst low is down one plus two, which is barely reactable. So, okay, interesting combo. But like I have down one plus two, I have down back four, I have the only good low is silent entry two, and that's from a stance. So it takes a little time to set that up. Oh my god, he with the unblockable clothesline, this man. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's about to do it again. The disrespect. The disrespect. Oh man, he caught. You call him trying to do it again and hit him with the palm. Yeah, he had to hit him with that palm real quick. Alright, shoulder. We are not, our ankles are free today. Into the. Yep. Yep. Ah. Uh, try to duck. Gets hit yeah. by a rage drive. Yeah, what's up, Afro? All right, so the beef is at four zero right now. So Sleepbringer, uh, you have one last chance, my guy, to get on the board. I'm gonna need you to get on the board, please. All right, well, I didn't need to see Sleepbringer go ham with the quarter circle forward plus ones. Sleepbringer don't have that mentality, don't have that one more mentality. If you lose, yes. But I need you to get on the board. Sleepbringer, you're not gonna lose if you just spam corner circuit forward one. I'm telling you. No, it's it's uh it's, it's four, four zero. Uh Jeremiah. Sleeper is like, when did I get a W? When did that happen? But uh, look, Sleepbringer got close in that game, a third game. So I definitely, said, I know Sleepbringer can get on the board. I would just start ducking a little bit more be to just avoid the throws, because like the throws, right. it definitely doesn't seem like Sleepbringer is good at breaking throws. So to compensate for that, even though hop kick is a risk. The beef hasn't been doing hop kicks, so until the beef starts doing hop kicks, then you're gonna have to start breaking throws. What? So, I, you might you're better off ducking instead of trying to guess at these guess what break it is. Um, I well, should. Hold up. Okay, I, so... I've seen a lot of four four ones from the beef as well. So you might, you might that might be a little bit risky because you know you might get knocked down. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a very good point. Um, let me see. What's this dude's name on here in Discord? Oh, E F E Y B. Oh, well, know, hold up. I don't even know what that stands for. One from Fang uh, crushes starting from six range. So, oh, maybe you can just spam quarter circle forward one. Get underneath the froze. Yeah, that's true. Fang, Fang's lows are pretty good. Or just do down back three because down back three has some pretty fast startup frames. Like, I guess animation-wise, and it crushes. Yeah, it does. 
according to my bot, it says uh, down back three is uh, from Fang is about 16 to 17 frame startup. Yeah. All right, we got Jungle Outpost one, not two. So Dame, you can't get hype right now because I know two is your favorite stage. <sighs> I know two is your favorite stage. Hey, you got a favorite stage? Uh, yes. Uh, definitely Jungle Outpost two. But I'm I'm starting to try. I'm starting to like other stages. Um, I like Mishima Building. Yeah, that's like, my go-to. I, I like that stage a lot because like when I'm looking for a small stage, it's uh, symmetrical. So. Right. I don't really have to worry about like, uh, well, for like, if I'm using Miguel, I like using that stage because Miguel doesn't get as much carry as Lars does. So oh, like, yeah. I I like using Machine and Building for that when it comes to that. And I like, I mean, I like all the infinite stages in situations where like I don't feel like dealing with getting mixed at the wall. Uh huh. All right, what's the sh what's the head? But I mean, what's the shoulder? Excuse me. Oh, uh, drops the co combo. Snake Edge. Oh, he finally gets it. Oh, dang. Doesn't punish your armor move? Alright, you're definitely ahead of me this time. Finally went back to you. Alright, he ducked that he ducked that grab. Oh he Wow. Okay. Great situational awareness by the beef. He's like, oh you you gonna duck again? I got a crouch for the crouch throw version. I, I forgot oh he's doing this man is disrespectful. He's doing it. He's just spamming it out now. <laughs> Alright, headbutt. Do it again. Do it again! Not from that range, though. Okay. We need more lows. Check this man's ankles. Ducks a throw? Mess. Honestly, you don't even need to duck that throw. It's a two, it's a two break. Oh, okay. He ducked that throw. Oh, oh no, he's dead. Dang. Hits him with the RDC. This one time, at one of the locals, I got RDC'd by plural, but I still won the round. <laughs> That's a Somehow. Yeah, like usually if you get RDC'd, you're losing that round, but somehow I still won the round. I lost a set though. Okay, no punish. Oh, he ducked that out. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my god, what is going on? Uh oh. Taking him downstairs? Nah, he didn't do 4 2 1. Okay. Oh, that's counter it! Oh! Get out, get out, get away from the wall! Oh no, oh, oh my god. Oh, well, look at that, he threw him out of the unblockable! Oh no. Yeah! Throw him out that one block. Well, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, no uh, punish on punish. shoulder. Oh, no counter hit combo! That's a two break! It is a numero dos. Oh, he's doing the full he's doing 10 the strings. He's so disrespectful! <laughs> he's still doing strings! He's doing strings! Okay. Do it again. Hit him with- Oh, he's dead. Uh, That's GG's. Punish him to super. GG's. And the B will take it 5 out.